Hello there. Welcome to episode three of the Jira tutorial for business analyst uh, uh, series. In this uh, episode, we are going to look at the creation of Apex in, in the Jira tool. So as we have discussed earlier, uh, we had come up with this user story map for the uh, online delivery service for APC Cuisines. If you want to check out how we came, uh, how we came up with this uh, user story map, I'll provide a link uh, in the description. You can check out the video on user story mapping. So we did the exercise and uh, there were four key epics which were identified, uh, which was the ability for the users to browse uh, the, uh, the online menu and the ability for the users or the, the customers to make an online order and an ability for them to pay for their online order. And then the last one was track uh, their online order to uh, delivery. So there was, these are the four uh, key epics uh, uh, which we kind of uh, uh, came up with as part of this user story mapping exercise. So what we're going to do is let's uh, create these four epics in the project uh, which we created in the previous uh, episode and uh, let's see how, how it all fits in onto the Jira tool. So let's go back to the Jira browser. So uh, if you remember in the previous video, we created a project called ABC. I just renamed it to ABC Online Home Delivery Service to make it more apt. So this is the workspace where all the activities, the, the requirements, the uh, tasks, everything will be um, put together for this particular initiative. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start off with creating the epics. So this is the backlog tab in the in the project and as you see here um, there's nothing in the backlog there's no use stories or no epic so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the epics tab here and then click on the link called create epic to create the epics so here um, it will be a very summarized option so basically it states which is a project what is the type we are creating? So if you look at the drop down, we have task, story, bug. Uh, we'll come to that later, but at the moment we're creating an epic. So we have selected epic and what is the epic name and what is the summary? So in case if you want to have more values, um, then you, you can configure it here. For the purpose of this demonstration, I've just clicked on all so that uh, you, know, you, you, are, you will be able to see what are the fields available. So the first one is the name of the epic, then summary, what the epic, what do you want to achieve the epic, and the description. Description is here where you can go more detail, provide a lot of context, and then what is the priority, high, me, highest, medium, low uh, labels, and if there's any attachment you want to drop off here, so it'll be you can do it here. Then linked issue if there's any. Uh, linked user story um, or if it's linking to yeah uh, any other uh, any other ish, uh, a bug or anything but yeah it's usually the epics links to the user stories so here is where you will be able to link the user stories and then the assignee whom you want this to be assigned and then the sprint which this epic will be part of so most of this uh, values we don't have because this is the first thing we're uh, you know we are starting off. So let's see, well, let's try to uh, fill up the details which we know. So what is the epic name? So I'll just, as we see here, first epic is regarding the browse. So I would just mention, provide the ability to the customer to browse and search the food menu. Yep. So I'm just, providing a quick summary of what is required, what 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 we need this epic to do. And I'm just copy pasting the same thing into summary and description just for you know, simplicity. But in the real, real world, this would be expanded out to provide more context, why we are doing uh, and what are the metrics. All those business uh, context can be added to the description just to provide more background to the development team. But for this exercise, I'm just going to uh, use the the same text and then uh, the priority the priority is highest if you see uh, without browsing or you know there's nothing the customer can do or searching so just keep it higher highest 
and then labels i'm going to ignore it at the moment the labels are used to kind of uh, group uh, the epics and stories together but i don't see the uh, need for now so i'll leave it there and then there is an attachment I, I don't have any attachment to drop at the moment but if so we can drop it so i'll, I'll explore this functionality when we come to user stories where we will attach uh, mockups and then at the moment there is uh, there's no linked issue so i'll leave it blank automatic i'll just assign it to the test account and uh, sprint i'm going to leave it blank because there is uh, no sprint created yet so i'm just i just put all a kid in all the details i'm just going to hit on create and then we would see the epic abc1 has been created yeah so this is how you create epics so now if i go back to the backlog you would be able to see um, this epic here yep. so similarly I'm going to create um, three more epics I'm just I'm just going to leave the other uh, fields uh, blank for now I'm just going to create uh, the epic and the summary so the second one is order I'm just going to keep it simple and provide the okay i'm just going to keep it simple so that you can differentiate it i'm going to click on create another so create will create it but if you click on create another it will create the epic and then you will have you'll have a feel for another one so if you see here abc2 has been created now i'm going to create three which is the third epic which is the payment online payment or payment i would say payment for the online order then i'm just going to put the same provide the ability for the customer to make payment for their online order yep so this is the third epic which talks about the payment so i'm just going to click on create so if you see abc3 is the epic name uh, epic number and then we have the description so it has been created so we have created one two and three the last epic is regarding tracking of the online order so let's create that So it's basically tracking of their online order. I'm going to provide the ability to the customer for tracking their online order. Yep. So I'm going to check it off because this is the last epic in our series. So for, for now, so I'm just going to click, click on create and this will create our fourth epic. So now we have epic one two three and four created so this is how how you basically create uh, epics so we have four epics created and uh, in the next video what we're going to cover off is we're going to add uh, user stories to do to these epics and uh, we'll see how how we are going to create the user stories and how we are going to link it so again, many uh, thanks again for uh, watching this video till the end and uh, stay tuned for the next video on user stories.